Human cultures have sought a multitude of ways to manage growing unease in the world, ranging from spirituality, social changes, and rural sentimentality to defiance of traditional norms in favor of the indefinable. This shows that to ensure peace and security for others, people are willing to give up their lives and more. This tradition continues on in hopes of a better future. Peace and security were provided to migrant workers and homeless due to this photograph. This shows us that creative methods can be used instead of making war the answer to everything. According to Pablo Picasso, the women have eros and thanatos aspects. Eros means women's attractive character, and thanatos represents the death and fear of venereal diseases. Picasso states that peace and security from venereal diseases were epidemic at the time. Four symbolic elements, a veil, gun, text, and gaze, capture the viewer with an undeniable force that cannot be escaped. The women, though silenced by scripture, are able to fight with the sanction of the sacred texts that lend authority to their use of weaponry. American Gothic depicts two generations of farmers, one being the father and the other being the daughter. The two are survivors and it makes us as a country feel secure because we know that these people are our nation's backbone. This image was deeply inspired by Mexico's indigenous culture. He based it on the Spanish proverb that translated to gain fame and go to sleep. This painting was one of the first of its kind because it represented feminism and pride. Although it was shocking and not well received by some people, it had a simple yet powerful concept, which is, be proud of what you do. Judy Chicago wants to represent female strong traits. This artwork makes women feel more secure, free, and comfortable since this work depicts women as those who can dominantly make the decision. Pierre Mondrian, known for his involvement in De Stigio, sought to create peace through universal spirituality in his works just like this painting. With only lines, primary colors, and rectilinear shapes in the work, he argued that all people would experience the same aesthetic feeling, free from misinterpretations or national boundaries of any kind, of which had caused the First World War. Amid the conflict and social upheavals caused by the aftermath of World War II, Rothko channels a sort of energy that invites the viewer to contemplate the harrowing truths of existence, death, spirituality, and the unknown. <laughs>